I do have a hot mess story. I've been waiting for a hot mess theme for years now so that I could tell this story. Um, so three or four years ago, my parents were staying with us over my dad's 70th birthday. And I ran out of gift ideas for my dad like 20 years ago. So the only thing that I could think of to get him for his birthday that would make him really happy was Dunkin' Donuts and a caramel macchiato from Starbucks. The problem is my dad gets up for the day on purpose at like 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning. And at the time, I was a stay-at-home mom with kids in elementary school, so I really didn't have to get up that early. So it took a lot of effort for me to wake up early enough that he could get his donuts and caramel macchiato in the morning. So I hit snooze for a while, and finally it was like 7 a.m., and I, I rolled out of bed. And this is early for me, but it's like mid-afternoon for my dad. And I frantically um, throw on a sweatshirt. I have like the big baggy sweatpants that I slept in, and I put on flip-flops, and I throw a hat on my head. I don't even look in the mirror. And I just, I just go out the door. And in my mind, I'm feeling like, you know, I feel good. I'm like, I love those times of day when it's so early that you're not really expected to be dressed. Like you're down the shore, and you're walking to see the sunrise, and people are half in their pajamas. And like that's the kind of mood I'm in. And I feel like I, I look like one of those um, cute college girls, you know, that has like a messy bun and like with pajama pants walk in the class or like in People Magazine when they have that section where it's like celebrities, they get coffee too and they're in like regular clothes and that's, that's what I think I look like. So my first stop is Starbucks and I go into Starbucks and I immediately can sense that something's wrong because everybody in line is showered and shaved, and most of them are wearing suits. And I'm like, what are these people all gussied up for? And then it dawns on me, oh my god, work. They're going to work. Oh, and I start to feel really self-conscious and kind of disgusting. And I, you know, I look down, and there's like stains on the tank top that I had on the night before. I haven't brushed my teeth. I smell and like flip flops and, and I can't stand myself and I swear I saw the guy in front of me kind of like move a little bit away so he didn't get too close. So I can't wait to get through Starbucks and get back home. And I get back in the car and I see, I look in the, in the mirror and I see that it's even worse than I suspected because I've also gotten my hands on some wrinkle cream and it like turns your skin over and makes it like flake off so I have like a like a self-induced, untreated psoriasis going on. <laughs> and the last thing I want to do is go to Dunkin' Donuts. But the donuts are like the star of the show in terms of this birthday gift, so I have to stop at Dunkin' Donuts. So I go into Dunkin' Donuts, and I'm immediately distracted from what I look like, because coming toward me, walking out, I see Joe. Now, Joe is my friend Sean's boyfriend that I've been hearing about for a couple years but I've never met him. And I know that this is him because I've seen so many pictures of him. So I get really excited and I go up to him and I go, are you Joe? And he's like, yes, I am. I'm like, you're Sean's boyfriend. He's like, yes. I'm like, I'm Luann. And he's like, I, 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 that's great. I don't know who you are. And I'm like, I'm Sean's friend from Penn State. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I feel like Nancy Drew or Angela Lansbury because all I did was look at like 900 pictures of him on Facebook for two years. And I figured out that this was him in person. And I'm just, I'm giddy with excitement that this is him. And I'm like, I have the kids. I have Louise and Eddie. They're my kids. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I think I remember hearing something about kids. <laughs> And then I did something that was so out of character for me. I don't even want to say it. I still wince when I think about it. I said, can I hug you? <laughs> I was just so excited to meet him. And then I found him in Dunkin' Donuts. And the, the poor guy said, OK. <laughs> so I hugged him. And I'm filthy. And he's in this crisp white shirt. And then he said, um, I have to go to work now. <laughs> and I was like, OK, you know, it's great to meet you. And, and he left, and I'm still like on this high, and I'm in line for my donuts. And I'm like, oh, it's Joe. Like, it's so exciting. And I realized that everyone in Dunkin' Donuts has been part of this conversation and paying attention. And then 
I start to remember what kind of condition I'm in and what I look like and what I must smell like. And I decide that if Sean asks me if I met Joe, I'm, I'm just going to deny it, right? <laughs> My name is Luann. It's difficult to remember. I used to give fake names and bars all the time because no one could get it. It's hard to remember. I'm like, I'll just deny it. I'll just pretend it's not me. This never happened. This never happened. I get the donuts, and by the time I get back to the car, I have a text from Sean that says, are you the hot mess that just accosted Joe in Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> but before I could type out my denial of the situation, the next text that came in said, he liked you. Thank you. Thank you.